Hi, I'm Julia Barnes. Um, my interest is to play video games. Uh, I'm not a very interesting person in life. <laughs> what kind of video games do you like? I don't know, Call of Duty, like first person shooters or anything war related at the moment. Yeah. Like Sniper Elite 4. Um, and you play those with your family, I remember you said at one point. Yeah, I yeah. play some games with my family, not the war games though. <laughs> play. Not with little kids, but yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to have some wallet and I'm going to have to draw it and play games. What kind of games do you play? Usually they get games that I like very. Some from cutesy games like Kirby, usually with the art parts. But that's beside the point. And also games like Hot or Night, or it's a darker in nature. My name is Lily Pimenta. I like to play video games, depending on my mood, but I usually play this one game daily. Um, other than that, I like to watch anime, listen to music from anime characters from the game that I like to play, and um, drawing. Can you show us one of your drawings? Okay, so here's a traditional drawing that I'm going to take out, which is kind of a bit old, so the paper, so the line has yeah. faded a bit. And the other one is digital. Hang on. So you're a traditional artist and a digital artist. Yes, I am both. This one was actually quite hard to do because it was a lineless. A lineless is always difficult. Of course it is. And here's one that isn't a lineless. But also it is a makeup. What I got out of the I can program is um being more confident um in my own look and um how I speak to others and making more friends and stuff like that. I yeah, that's become awesome. more of a public speaker. That's really cool. Natasha? Well, I guess I was good to have some fun with friends when I came to the ICANN program. I was good to be able to have some fun. Awesome. And I'm happy. Uh, being happy is definitely, like, the best thing you can get out of any program. And Lily? Um, to be honest, I guess I got closer to my partner and my already two friends that you've seen already. Yeah. That's and, awesome. Yeah. My favorite part of the ICANN program was when we would play Hangman, like nearly every lesson, and the breakup party because my mom got to meet everyone. Yeah, that was really great having your parents involved. I think my favorite part of the ICANN program was kind of just being able to escape from the usual classroom, and I knew for a fact that things were going to get chaotic and far too noisy within the classroom. Like a saving grace, I guess. That's awesome. And um, My favorite part of ICANN was, I guess, Siren Ball. Because it's usually quiet. And, yeah. yeah, it is a really nice. great game for that. Yeah. When you just need a quiet minute. Yeah. Also, um, blah, 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 it was, it's the usual getting out of, of a uh, double lesson because... The thing that I usually do in a double lesson is just sitting down on the ground and just waiting for the time to go by. Yeah, it's a bit of a reprieve, isn't it? Yeah. Some of the positives of being autistic are um, making maths a little easier, being able to think a bit simply and just get past some assignments, like just thinking nothing more about it. Um, and... Yeah, generally doing math here and there, like with your money or whatever, is also easier too. Awesome. I guess a good part about having a bit of ego on the autism spectrum is probably things that like my special interest of risk can also be described as hyperfixations. Yeah. So sometimes it can be a bit difficult considering that I sometimes talk too fast, but it's good overall. That's awesome. Um, I guess some parts of being autistic is that you can think differently from other people 
kind of like you're thinking out the box. Yeah, it's like a whole creativity thing, which would be very useful for you with your drawing, I imagine. Yeah. My advice to students that are starting the ICANN program is to take some deep breaths, stay calm, and that everyone else there is just like you, and you can let your inner self out. That's you, great advice. Even if you don't have to, don't want to straight away, just let yourself sink in and don't freak out. Yeah. Awesome. Natasha? Uh, just try to stay calm, I guess. That's what I saw what else to say because my brain is currently empty. <laughs> That's hey, alright. It is pretty early in the morning. But yeah, just stay calm fun. and have fun. Um, I guess good luck and I hope you meet new friends if you decide to make new friends. Or grow a closer connection with friends that you already have. That's great. My advice to other students or pupils with autism um, for crowded areas or simply if you really can't get to anyone, maybe get a fidget toy, um, ask your teacher nicely if you could sit at some quietest place in the room as possible and fidget with it a little bit and maybe talk to your teacher, have a conversation with them, talk to them about your autism and they could possibly find help for you and even if they don't you'd have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and it could help you get your mind off the noise that's great advice natasha uh, my advice here is maybe to see if you can bring along comfort items and for me it's plushies they help me keep calm non-autistic students to help your friends that have autism is to take the first step and to ask them if they're okay and if they want space, give them space, but if they want to talk to you, take your time and let them take their time and have that conversation, find a quiet place and catch up. I can be more confident within myself and I can make more friends. Yeah. I can do drawings to the best of my ability, even if, even if my motivation is low. I can get better at drawing or speaking to other human beings. 